this is this is the thing what that when legend. you put in so much work, you bring luck to yourself. Yeah, that's, true. that's what it is. The harder Yo, you work, the we we freaking you get. came to Genoa with nothing, losing losing money, doing all this that it was stupid to come here. Do you, you know what we just did? Like it building pays a relationship. Off. It just shows if you guys work hard. That was just that's worth it. it. That was worth it. Worth it. Worth Yo, it. we could take trips to freaking party in Las Vegas or something. No, we do this. We so yeah, we just uh, closed uh, the deal with Serie A. We find it pretty insane, to be honest. Uh, something that we've been working for ever since we started IFTV, really. And we almost can't believe uh, we landed something like this. I'm proud. I'm proud. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready for the work to begin. I feel like we've been putting in like a lot of hours to work. Like we're ready to work. And we're ready to, to do something to make people proud. And feels good man it feels really exciting um i'm happy that so much of what you put in it seemed like a dream like at one point to like think that you could have that or have that be achieved feels good but i'm ready to work since five six years ago when we started we're always like wow one day we're gonna do something and it seems like uh it's finally here and this is only the beginning yes and no Yes and no. I, I think that we all have those like parts of ourselves where like you obviously like I, I think that I and, and Michael too, we, we believed in ourselves a lot more than I think maybe most people would. Um, so I always dreamt of all these things occurring in different in different ways. Definitely didn't think it would take so long to really hit some sort of success and milestones. We're definitely much more naive back then and thinking so, uh, it would come almost not overnight but uh closer to than what we did but it just shows how much how much rejection how many no's and all these obstacles that you have to go through so you can really taste that first victory to make you really be thirsty for and hungry for more and you get excited and, and you know that you have it in you because i think that like we all have something inside of us that's like we really love and you think that you could achieve it and then like reality sets in and it's like entrepreneurship is like a slap in the face like a hundred times and it's like how do you keep getting back up uh so at those parts probably not you know i was thinking how hard it is and, and how you got to get back up and thinking about the so many problems but so yes and no man yes and no like i always i always i would be lying if i said i never imagined like to be at the top and to be the guys that are pushing it forward because i don't think that there's anyone who loves the game more or or, or dies for it more to be honest uh, but at the same time, you know how it is. There's life happens and, and, and you get doubts, but you just got to keep pushing. And I'm not going to say the guy's name because it's not, it's not, it's not important about who it is. I had this idea where I was like, yo, Mike, we should start IFTV, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's do this. Well, let's create a community of culture fans of Serie A fans like us that want to know about the game. So I was like, well, I remember we wrote it out. We had like a perfect pitch. We're like this, 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 you know, we can handle it. And we were in college at the time. And I remember we told him this idea. We said exactly what we wanted to do. And he looked at us and he said, this will never work. It's not possible. And I remember like, it's like deplete, like, you know, like a balloon, you pop a balloon and just the air just starts going out everywhere. And Michael and I looked at each other. We're like, I didn't even think anybody could say no to that. And that hit us for like maybe like five, 10 seconds. And we walked out of his office and he's like, oh, it's all right, man. You guys will have like another idea. Like that's just not possible. And I remember I looked over at Mike and like, I was like, nah, like we had the couple seconds of doubt. And then we're like, we're not going to listen to this guy. Like, yo, if nobody wants to help us, that's fine. There was always some doubt, especially in the beginning, quitting our jobs for IFTV, whether it was going to work out or not. But I feel like me and Marco took a uh, rejection and we took that negative and really turned it into a positive. When we heard no, that like fueled us to be like, really, you don't think it's going to happen? We're going to show you that something like th that could happen. <laughs> Early on, we had the, the Pogba stuff, uh, the whole Pogba thing that went viral and we were featured everywhere. And I remember overnight, like it went so viral. Everybody was posting about us. I still remember all the media outlets that did not credit us. I'm very mad about that still. That's why we take a lot of pride in crediting where we get our content from, by the way. Uh, I'm not that proud of that moment, though, to be honest. I got to say, like, that's not us. Like, you know, you know, he told us he was staying at you, but we kind of hyped it up and you kind of built into that. For me, the biggest moment and the turning point where it went from being like, you're crazy to believing to yes, this is real, was when we worked with Sampdoria. And, um, and specifically, right after our interview with Muriel, 
where you know we created we had a lot of fun and like people told us we were stupid to try to not do a serious interview like we brought him balloons for his birthday or like his kid's birthday or something and we had a joke we he like taught me to dance and i made fun of myself like because i can't dance or, i think i can but we were leaving to walk home and we're like high-fiving me michael and the team adamo and uh and dan and uh he pulls up with his car and he's like get in guys and i'm like no you know we told him where we're going he you know he was going 30 minutes the opposite way and uh he's like no no get in get in and uh you know of course i was like i was saying no but i was like really going in into his car and we start driving and he's like i was like why are you doing this like why are you taking us here like you have no obligation to do this we're some random like you could say journalists even though we didn't see ourselves as journalists we're just guys trying to tell a story and he told us on the way as like we danced and sang to to uh taylor swift and talked about colombian women we uh we were he was telling us he's like i've never had an interview like that before like i've never had anybody he's like over here everybody tries to take my words spin them around and then make a story out of me he's like and you guys you literally just tried to make me have fun like you went in there with the to make my life easier he's like so i put my guard down and he's like since you did that i want to give good to you and now i swear to god that was the moment and so many people said we were stupid to go on that trip because we paid out of pocket to do that that was the moment that i knew we First and foremost, uh, we're, we're culture fans, we're Serie A fans. We've been watching this game for so long, Marco even longer than me, obviously. Even now, we watch how many games a week? Still now, we still watch the TV and we're just as excited. Every shot, every deflection, it's still, I feel like we're still fans at the end of the day. You know, I think that's our main thing. That's the reason why we started IFTV. And, uh, you know, before this pandemic and afterwards, we're, we're going to continue doing uh, watch parties, view parties and be with the fans because fans make the game so special the emotions whether you uh, cry whether you celebrate it's all part of the game I think obviously the technical answer is good content I, I think it's something that we've always taken pride in we try not to do things like the same way as everybody else but at the end of the day we're we're literally fans that's exactly us like we know what works because it's what we want at the end of the day and we're going out to create that so yes we have to earn the trust and and honestly we want to build a community more than anything like seeing like-minded cultural fans or city off fans grow over here like so it's our opportunity to do that and, and to show them that hey the door is open now go and show us what you got we always were a fan of culture of Serie A, and we've always been fighting from day one since we started IFTV to make Serie A the best league in the world, and that's why we think we're the best partners for Serie A. It's not about my name. It's not about my nationality. It's not what I believe in. Culture is who I am.